Hi everyone, it's Terry from the Gypsy Magpie and I'm here today for the Graphic Fairies Tag Team Friday. I am sharing a little teacup pocket tag with you today. Um, I am thinking this is something that I am going to go ahead and tuck into a little junk journal. So it's kind of a tag and a pocket combined and we've got some little tuck spots and all kinds of things where we can do journaling. So here's what we've got. It is from the uh, Chelsea Flower Show bundle. Had all kinds of springtime florals. I just loved it. So it all started with this teacup. The teacup was kind of the jumping off point, but I've got some little tucks underneath the flower here. We've got a little tuck between the the, the teacup and the saucer. We've got some things tucked into the top here. We've got some tags where we can do some journaling. And the whole thing could be adhered down to a junk journal page, or if you wanted, you could just kind of tuck it in. But I thought this would be a lot of fun to put together. So again, we've got little places to tuck things here and there. It was fun to put together. So let me show you how we did that. Tuck everything back in, and I'm gonna set this over to the side. Push these out of the way. So the first image that I found was this teacup, and I thought it was super cute, and I wanted to do something with it. So I decided to go ahead and use a combination of the cup and this, it, it's some type of a plant tag. Um, again, these are all from the Chelsea Flower Show bundle. This is just a rectangular card and I printed it out at five by seven. And what I did was I wanted to make it look like the, the traditional tag with the angled off top. So I snipped it off and I wanted to continue this line work that was on the original print. And I use these Sharpies quite often. They're, they are permanent. They are waterproof. Um, they are a micro tip and they are 0.5. I just buy them in boxes from Amazon. These work great to do, um, any kind of line work that you might want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to finish snipping off this corner. I'm just using my scissors. So now I've got the traditional tag shape and that is the, the very bottom of the base of my tag. To make it look like a tag, I went ahead and I took my hole punch and I glued down a small three quarter inch circle that I just cut with a circle punch. I glued it down, I punched a hole in the center, and then I went ahead and I put one of these metal eyelets in there. I'm trying to flip this so you can see just these, um, these brass eyelets. I love how these things look. And they're really sturdy if you're gonna go ahead and, and tie some ribbon or something through. So. That's how I got this the base. What I'm gonna put on top of that is the teacup. When I printed the teacup, it didn't have quite enough definition around the edges and around the base of the cup. So what I did was I used my Sharpie and I went ahead and I just did some very, very light lines around the entire cup. To make this a little pocket where I could tuck things in, let me grab something to allow me to tuck it in. I needed to take an X-Acto knife, and I just, I just roughly guessed, and I just kind of cut a slit so that I will be able to tuck things in. So let's glue this down to our tag. I am just going to use the Beacon Three in One. I use that for pretty much everything that I do. So when I do the glue, I'm going to take care not to glue this shut. And I also took my X-Acto knife and I cut 
just around the bottom of the cup and a little bit down because I wanted to make this little spot where you could tuck something underneath. So I am going to make sure that I don't glue this whole side down. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do a little bit of glue on the top. Uh, I went ahead and I used the Distress Ink to do all of my inking. I'm just getting a little bit of glue down here around the edges. And I'm going to have some glue that doesn't need to be on there. I'm eyeballing this. I'm going to kind of make it a little bit off center. But I still wanted part of that handle. The handle's a little bit thinner than the rest of it, and I want to make sure that it doesn't get too bent up. So it's just a little bit off-center. Again, I have, I have made sure that I have left this upper pocket accessible and this little side accessible. But everything else is glued down. For a little bit of embellishment, let me pull this one over and I'm going to kind of take the pieces off so we can get a good look. I added a little bit of lace trim and I've got that right here. And it was just a tiny little snip. I would say maybe, maybe three and a half, four inches is all it needed. So I'm going to do a little bit of glue just along that line that I used the exacto to cut and I'm going to stick this down and you can use whatever adhesive is your favorite for gluing trim. I know a lot of people love fabric tack. Fabric tack is also made by Beacon. So that's another really good one that'll hold. So that's all we had to do there. I am going to take care to make sure that I can still slip things in okay yeah I just want to make sure that I don't get any glue down where I don't want it so there we go that is glued down nicely now I want to go ahead and put that I think it's a camellia I want to go ahead and glue that down so that also came out of the Chelsea flower show bundle and what graphics fairy has for us is a sheet of a PDF sheet of these tiny little, I think of them as like um, journaling cards. I believe they're called uh, artist trading card size. And they're perfect to just, you can do a little journaling on the front if you want. You can do a little journaling on the back and hide it. But this camellia was right in the very, very center. So I took that one and I just fussy cut it. And again, I took my distress ink, did my inking around the edges. And I'm going to glue it, but I'm I'm going to kind of bend it up a little bit just so that it's not completely flat. And I'm only going to put the glue in the very, very center. And that's because I want to be able to tuck things underneath these leaves. So I'm just going to kind of plop that down on there. And as with all things art, there's no right or wrong way. However you like the looks of it, that is the right way. So we've got that down. I added a tiny little button and it's just a gold plastic button. And I took my heavy duty tonic scissors and I snipped the shank off the back. I'm going to put a little blob of glue. Again, the three in one, it holds great. So I've got a little blob of glue there, and I am just going to push that down. Now that little blob of glue, it's going to take a few minutes until it ha it's really solid, but I think you get the idea. So we've got the base done. Um, I wanted to take advantage of some of the these prepared ATC cards so I just, I cut them all out. I can always tuck a bunch in here and there, but to kind of give you an idea, I just ink the edges. If you want, you can go ahead and use your hole punch and you can 
punch the little hole. You can tie them up with a little bit of twine or a little bit of ribbon. Oops, stick that one down in. Um, I also, I did one of these. Just did it on the side. This one's going to go ahead and tuck in here. This was another image that was part of that um, uh, Chelsea Flower Show bundle. And I just printed a bunch of these out at wallet size just to give us, you know, just a little something extra. This pretty little girl is also in that bundle. I just cut her out and kind of roughed up the edges. And then I had a lot of fun putting, putting this tag together. This actually was an image that prints out large. It looks like this. What I did was I went ahead and I trimmed it down slightly so that it would be small enough, narrow enough to slide into the teacup. And so what I ended up with was that. So I cut, let me line this up again. All I did was I cut the edge off so that it's only about two inches wide. And then I went ahead and I angled off the top so that it looks like a traditional tag. Again, took my hole punch, punched a hole up in the top. And I like to use seam binding. I just kind of, oh, I have a piece, maybe five or six inches. I'm gonna stick it through the hole and I'm gonna open up this loop at the top. I think this is called a lark's head. Somebody told me that once. And I'm gonna push these tail ends through that loop. And since I'm working on cardstock and it's not super, super heavy, I don't wanna give this a real, real strong pull because it may pull right through this paper. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just kind of wiggling it back and forth. And what I'm doing is I am tightening up this knot up at the top. There you go. So always kind of keep in mind, you don't want to really yank it hard because again, this is just paper. It will tear through the top. If that happens, it's not the end of the world. Just go ahead and snip it off and repunch a hole. But that always gives a nice finished look to your tags. So we've got that one. I'm going to go ahead and tuck that in. Um, to finish it off, I went ahead and I tied more seam binding on this one. These are kind of fun because you can really fill these up. Um, like I said, I I cut out the entire sheet. So you can stick in as many as you want. You could stick some photographs in if you wanted. Um, if you don't like the white on the back of your printed cardstock, what you can do is you can print on kind of a an off-white, a cream-colored cardstock, and it's not quite as stark. Uh, so that's a nice thing to do. You can always print it out, and on the back you can glue another piece of paper, maybe a little bit of lined paper, so you have some lines to follow when you're when you're working. But just fill up the cup. Um, I and like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to glue this down onto one of my journal pages. So. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun, quick little pocket to put together. A little tag for Tag Team Friday. So join us next week when we've got another tag for you on Tag Team Friday. Happy crafting.